Tense moments at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School today where law enforcement swarmed the building following threats of violence. Someone called the school claiming they had a long gun and pipe bombs. Thanks for joining us for News 4 at 4. I'm Un Yang. And I'm Leon Harris. The school was placed on lockdown and the SWAT team was called in. It was a chaotic few hours there on campus. But police say the threat was unfounded and everyone is safe. We want to get right to News 4's Paul Wagner, who joins us now live from outside the school this afternoon. Paul, what can you tell us about what, what, what do we know about what happened there or didn't happen? Well, Leon and Un, the call was so specific at 11.23 this morning that it alarmed the school officials and the police. That's why they put it in the lockdown. Take a listen to what the dispatcher was telling the officers who were responding to the scene. Somebody who claims to be in the school secreted in a bill in a bathroom right now. Break. Caller states that he has an AR-15 as well as pipe bombs packed into students' backpacks possibly break. With that threat, the school went into lockdown, and Montgomery County police called in canine teams and officers with long guns. From Chopper 4, you can see the officers entering the school in tactical gear. We have uh, K-9 and SWAT. SWAT has cleared all of the bathrooms. K-9 is currently sweeping the school as well. They have been checking any book bags that were left in the area. The students who were off campus having lunch got text messages telling them the school was on lockdown and not to return. Parents, though, got a different message, which did not sit well with Melissa Mello, who has a daughter in the school. I received a message from my daughter, a text message from my daughter, saying that they were on lockdown. And then I think it was pretty shortly after that, we got a message from the school saying that there was an incident in the community and they were on lockdown for that. And but then the sirens. Melissa Mello says the school system seemed to downplay the threat in response. The administration response needs to be more detailed. It took Montgomery County Police more than an hour and a half to sweep the school. They found nothing. In constant contact with my oldest who is in the school, just telling me that he's with his friends and he's okay. Uh, and my middle one is out, is not inside the school. He was out at lunch. He was out at lunch. Greg Flynn says he and his wife both left work to come to the school. And now you're just waiting to, for, uh, to meet up with them? To lay eyes on him and hug him. Now what's maddening about all of this for parents and school officials and police is that there are consequences to all of this. The school day had to then be canceled. In addition, Montgomery County Police confirmed that they had to put numerous calls on hold, calls for service that is, calls where police needed uh, or I should say citizens were calling 911 saying they needed the police in other parts of the county and they couldn't send them right away. They had to put those calls on hold all because this was happening here and it was all fake. That's the latest here from BCC.